Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is Sunday so that means tutorial day. I did a glittery cut crease with a movie eyeshadow on the outer corner and right now let's just start this video. Let's not make it too long. The intro I mean. So let's start. As always I like to prime my eyelids for the eye makeup that I'm going to put on top. I'm using here a paint pot from MAC in soft ochre. To do my eyebrows, I'm using the NYX Eyebrow Cake Powder in Brunette. Then I'm setting my eye base with the Perfect Match Compact Powder from L'Oreal in the shade 4N Beige. So now begins the fun I am going to use for this eye look, the Viseart palette in dark mattes and first I'm taking that shade to be my transition eyeshadow. I'm using for this a 227, a blending brush from Ziva which I love so so much exactly for this work. It places the colour down exactly where you want it, it's a bit more precise than the 228 but it also diffuses the eyeshadow, the edge of it so nicely. I'm not going with this eyeshadow too much inwards, I'm leaving that part bare, but I'm concentrating the eyeshadow mostly on the outer edge of the eye. So most of the color is going to be on the outer half of the eye. Then I'm taking a plummy brownie shade, which I'm going to place on the outer part of the eye with a 224, a small blending brush from Ziva as well. With this eyeshadow and the next ones I'm going to use, I'm going to give depth to the eye look. So each eyeshadow that's going to come, it's going to be darker and darker. Next I'm taking the Plummy Movi shade right next to the other one and I'm using for this a 36E brush from Sigma which is a very small blending brush. I'm always reaching for this brush when I want a very precise but also blended application of the eyeshadow. For the inner half that's left bare, I am using the Inglot eyeshadow in 341. This is actually a lip contour brush from Ziva, the 330, which I'm always using for the eyes, not for the lips. Then I took my favorite drugstore liner from L'Oreal, it's the perfect liner in black. I decided then to make the look a bit more interesting by doing like a cut crease with a liquid liner, a glittery one from Urban Decay in Space Cowboy. The Sumptuous Extreme Mascara from Estee Lauder in black I am using for my upper lashes only. I forgot earlier to set my eyebrows so I'm doing this now with the brow gel from Bobbi Brown in transparent. I like to set them into place when I use like a powder to fill them in. When I use a pomade that's another story because that's already you know setting them. My face primer it's that gel from Benefit and it has like a rosy hue which is meant to counteract the redness in your skin. The smell it's absolutely amazing I think I could eat this stuff. I'm spreading the primer with a beauty sponge from Real Techniques, which I'm going to use also for my foundation. Mm -hmm. 
And speaking of foundations, I am using the Revlon Photo Ready Airbrush Effect Foundation in Natural Beige. This lasts on me about up to 8 hours, which is quite decent and I really love the finish of it. It's not drying on my skin. So I would recommend this foundation for those with normal to dry skin and also for the mature skin. I'm using here the Radiant Creamy Concealer from NARS in Medium Custard. It's a very good covering one and also it's not drying. And to pat it into my skin, I'm using a small beauty sponge, also from Rio Techniques. The same powder from L'Oreal I've used at the beginning to set my eyelids, I'm using now to set my face. And also this brush is from Real Techniques, a powder brush. This powder bronzer is from Burberry in number 3 and I really love the consistency of it and also the colour is quite warm so it's more summery. The brush I'm using here is not a good one for this step, it is actually a stippling liquid foundation brush from Kiko. But all my other powder brushes are dirty at the moment so let's just move on shall we? This contour powder is from MAC in Sculpt, so I'm going to sculpt my cheekbones with this. This small rounded contouring brush is from Beauty Loom Tools in 945. For the contouring of the nose, I always like a neutral shade, so I'm always mixing the bronzer and the sculpting powder. From the 10 color blush palette from BH Cosmetics, I am choosing those two shades to be my blusher today. And this is a blusher brush also from Real Techniques. For highlighter, I went with the Merry Luminizer from The Bomb, which I love and I still use because it's really a highlighter. It's not a glittery something, it's just beautiful on the skin. The brush I'm using to apply it is a Fen brush from Ziva. For lips, I'm using a lipstick from Maybelline in 987 Smoky Rose and this is a beautiful nudist shade. My beautiful lashes are from Aries on Lashes in T3D022 and they are so wearable. Then to finish off the eyes I'm using from the Viseal palette the same eyeshadow and I'm taking this on the same 330 from Ziva. I ran this quite generously in a smoky way along the whole lash line and now I'm taking the next eyeshadow, the plummy one on a 263 from MAC, an angled brush and I'm running this also along the whole lash line but I'm keeping it more tight. In the inner rims of my eyes I'm using the Too Faced Perfect Black Eyeliner. The same highlights I'm using for the inner corner of my eyes and also underneath the brows. Then I'm coating the bottom lashes with the same mascara from Laura Mercier. And we're finished! This is the look!
So guys, this was this week's tutorial. I hope you liked it as always. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, as always, give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel if you haven't already. And thank you if you have. Follow me on social media uh, on Vero, that is new on Instagram and Facebook. I'm going to catch you there or here on my channel. So mwah, until next week, take care.